Today I am going to be filming a truth about Georgia State University video and you guys are probably really confused like Lexi you've already filmed this before why are you filming it again and it's because I did not give Georgia State the best rep I'm not even gonna lie to you I've had so many people DM me like Lexi I am so scared to come to Georgia State now because of your video and I am so sorry um, if you guys watched my last video you would know that I absolutely despised Georgia State last year and it wasn't because of state itself. I was in a bad um, relationship during the time. So my outlook on everything was bad. And instead of me kind of pinpointing that I wasn't happy because I was in that relationship, I kind of pinpointed that it was on everything else. But to say the least, I'm gonna be giving you guys the truth about Georgia State University and just different tips that I wish I knew before I came here. Um, before I get into it, I am a computer information systems major. So a lot of people will ask me like, what the heck is that if you don't know what it is? It's basically computer science, um, but not so heavily focused on um, computers. And it's also not super focused on math. It's more so um, a computer science, but like business aspect of it. So um, it's amazing. You learn how to code and different things like that. It can honestly be really fun. And I don't know, I just think it's a fun thing to do. You can develop apps, you can do all different things. So if you guys are wondering, that is my major. Um, a lot of people think it's marketing because every job I've had is marketing, but that's just also one of the skills that I have. The student life is honestly very, very, very diverse. But what I will tell you guys is it's what you make it. Um, since it's not a traditional school, um, it's in the middle of a city. So it's not like a big SEC school or anything like that. Um, it's not going to be as easy to make friends or to feel connected if you don't make that effort. Um, last year when I did make the video, I absolutely made like no effort. Like I basically went to class and came back and I was like, oh, I hate Georgia State. And I'm like, mm, I wonder why. Right. Um, I didn't really make the effort to join clubs or do anything like that. So the student life can be super fun. Um, you just have to make that effort to actually join clubs and different things. There are so many different opportunities on campus that um, I have been told of and that I have seen. I personally still have not joined not anything really on campus just because I work a full-time job. I also do YouTube or I did work a full-time job and I do YouTube. And so for me, um, like joining clubs, like it's just a lot. Um, so I have a lot, but I do have a youth like ministry that I'm in or not a youth, but like a young adults ministry that I'm in. And um, that's something that I would recommend doing if you guys are in the faith, um, like I am, I would recommend finding a youth ministry that works for you. In Atlanta that caters to college students because that is very difficult it's very difficult to find um, people of the faith in Atlanta, especially at Georgia State. So um, I would highly recommend joining those, but um, the, the campus life is like what you make it. I did not live on campus my first year of college. So um, I lived in an off-campus apartment on Georgia Tech's campus. So I was not a state campus girl. And from what I can tell you guys and what I have heard, it is so much harder to make friends when you live off campus than when you do. And Georgia State's one of the biggest commuter schools. I think it is the number one commuter school in Georgia. So it is definitely difficult to make friends, especially if you don't stay on campus. But that's why I emphasize literally joining clubs. And not only that, but like Instagram is such a helpful tool. I've met so many different people on Instagram and I've just like gone and see that they went to Georgia State or whatnot and like it's just really fun to see so I would highly recommend doing those things but honestly you can make friends like I don't want to make this to scare you it's just for those of you guys who don't live on campus it is a lot more difficult I'm gonna be honest with you guys this opinion has not changed in mind I absolutely hate Georgia State's campus um the fun fun fact I never toured Georgia State's campus until I decided I was going and you guys probably like Lexi that's the dumbest thing ever. Um, but I grew up in the suburbs of Atlanta, so I just figured, okay, it's just downtown. Like I've been to downtown a thousand times. I used to go to, like I literally would go to downtown like every week. 
when I was younger, but I never really focused on Georgia State's campus. Like I kind of just assumed everything was downtown. Like I didn't know that Georgia State's campus was so open. Um, but something that I will say is that it's incredibly open. And like, yes, there are different places that you can study and like there's different parts of state, like the green space and everything like that, that I see a lot of people hanging out at. But it's a super open campus versus like schools like Georgia Tech where like, yes, it's still in Atlanta, but like it's a little more closed and like condensed and like cutesy and like, I don't know, I can go like on a picnic and like feel okay. <laughs> um, State's campus is definitely super open and like I'm not a huge downtown girl to begin with. So it's not my favorite versus again, like tech where tech is more like midtowny. Um, so it just definitely depends on like what you like and i would highly recommend touring the campus before you decide to go there um but again make the most out of it if you guys are looking for a school with school spirit i don't know if georgia state would be the best for you and the only reason why i say that is because georgia state again it's not a traditional school so like our athletics are not something that people come to Georgia State for. Um, it's not like a huge like athletic school versus like a UGA or like even Georgia Tech, even though Georgia Tech's team may not be up to a certain caliber. Um, they have a lot more of like school spirit than Georgia State does. So if you're looking for school spirit, I don't know if State would be for you just because there's not a ton of school spirit. Like there's some, but it's not a ton. And I feel like after homecoming like that's that's pretty much it like there's not really school spirit other than that so again i would highly 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 recommend you guys like doing your research and like seeing what you want because i've met people on two different spectrums like people who absolutely love state and then people who actually absolutely hate it the people that absolutely hate it are typically the ones that want school spirit or they want that traditional like college experience and it's not that and so again i feel like if you're looking for a traditional school experience, highly, highly, highly recommend going to a school like Georgia Tech um, because it's not necessarily super traditional, but they have like their traditional campus and they have like school spirit. And so like, I feel like that's the closest school in Atlanta to having school spirit, like Georgia Tech for sure. I always try to basically tell people like the classes will be hard if you choose hard professors like it's never if the class is hard it's more so like is the professor going to be a difficult professor and um the subject like yes there are hard subjects like for example accounting accounting is a beast like just saying if you're a business major and you have to take accounting i recommend you start studying now it is a beast um if you are an accounting major i love that for you but accounting is definitely a beast it's something that you really have to hunker down on and remember like a lot of material so my biggest tips is to make sure that you're checking the website rate my professor that's the literal only website that i would recommend and search up your professor's my name before you register for a class um and that's something again that i would recommend because it's not about the class that's difficult it's about the professors so you have some professors that are super lenient and that'll let you use your notes on your tests and your quizzes and then there's other professors where they don't so it's like it depends on your professor not so much your major or your um or the class itself um, i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have no clue how their housing is um i did not stay in their dorms the first semester however what i can tell you from what i've heard is that they do have some like not the best reviews when it comes to housing like they have some things that you know people are like ooh, like you know i don't know um but my biggest tip when it comes to looking for apartments or dorms or whatnot is basically looking at what you can afford um the dorms are the exact same price as an off-campus apartment with some roommates and so me personally i'm going to choose the off-campus apartments with roommates because typically like they're kept up better like it's a lot better so that's what i did my freshman year but i actually stayed at georgia tech's off-campus apartments um and boy, what is it was at a time. I absolutely hated having roommates. So make sure that when you are looking for roommates, like you really do hunker down and like see what works for you and like really meet these people because roommates can make or break you. And that's why I no longer have roommates because I just could not take it. Um, 
but what I will say is having roommates makes it a lot cheaper. Atlanta's rent prices are going up by the millisecond. I feel like you can't find a place under $1,500 now. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to like comment them down below because I will be answering more questions in a part two. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys do have any questions again, feel free to shoot me a DM. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I do make more content um, regarding life in general and I make faith-based content. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.